Um, a lot of viewers would have seen you, uh, your videos recently on, on Hong Kong. Hong Kong's been quite a, a divisive issue for some people. And um, it's been quite unusual to have an American speak out against Western media. So what's your thoughts around that? Yeah, so Hong Kong is an interesting issue for me because I've been studying the history of China for quite some time now, especially the last few hundred years. And a lot of that history, of course, involves Britain and Hong Kong and other things. And so I have known about the situation with Hong Kong for a while, um, but my primary message to people in the West is if you're going to talk about China in a public way and you have a, good, a big platform, you need to be doing your research, you need to be using facts, you need to be as unbiased as possible, and you need to be showing all sides of the, the arguments. And what I see from the West is overwhelmingly only one side of the Hong Kong issue. And to this day, even yesterday, I saw a, you know, a senator um, in America posted a tweet that was very, very, quite obviously coming from a point of only having half of the information. Right. All these protesters are so peaceful. Why would you know any? Why would anyone think that they're doing anything wrong, et cetera, et cetera? Meanwhile, I've seen you know videos of them dragging people out of cars and beating them on the street, throwing Molotov cocktails into police, you know, headquarters, and uh, all kinds of other violent actions. And so, what I don't seek to say, what they're doing is is wrong morally, or that it's right morally, but rather we need to be talking about it in a balanced way. And so. I've made several videos about it. I have my own personal opinions about it, um, which tend to go a little bit more towards the, if you're going to protest, you should probably know what you're protesting about. You should probably have a, a clear goal and work to achieve those goals. Um, so I tend to not want them to continue what they're doing. I think it's overall damaging. But my message really is to be fair to understand the situation and to be honest about the situation. So what sorts of uh, methods are particularly Western media using to show just one side of the argument or influence uh, opinion? Right, so there's a number of uh, tactics that large media will use in the West when they talk about China. Um, it's quite interesting and disturbing to see because there's so much of it going on that they actually create this bubble where they know that no one's going to challenge them and so they get very sloppy and loose with their reporting and they report in ways that they would never be allowed to report about American or British activities or, or news so they'll say things that are very very easy to fact check and see that no that's totally wrong and yet no one will check them so um, one of the things that they'll do is they'll focus on the reaction to something rather than the action so in other words um, when we see rioters throwing Molotov cocktails into buildings and then getting tear gassed, the reports from CNN will say police tear gas protesters, right? And then buried somewhere in the article, maybe they'll say petrol bomb somewhere in there. But the, the point of the article, the headline is that the police did something bad to these innocent protesters. Um, and so that's one example of how they'll do things. So it's, Technically, they're telling the truth, but they're quite obviously emphasizing something in a way to de-emphasize something else.